Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is your friendly neighborhood Oxhorn and here I am inside Vault 88 and I'm going to show you all of the possible results to the four experiments in the quest that you get when you first arrive at the vault. Here I am with Clem, our local idiot. <laughs> I like Clem a lot. And for this experiment, uh, you have to build the power cycle and you can find it inside the workshop under the special section. Go all the way to the end and we've got the power cycle 9000. Now it generates electricity and the quest description says that you need to put down a terminal and connect the terminal to it. Uh, but as you can see, Clem walks over here but he doesn't actually start using it. And in order to fix that, uh, you have to actually put it in this room over here. And the reason for that is because Clem is not gonna start using the power cycle until you program it uh, to have a very specific function, function, but you can't program it to have a function unless it, unless the terminal you use has power. But the terminal you use won't have power unless you connect it to an existing power source. So here we go. This is the Vault Tech Population Management System. Note that a regular terminal will not work. This came with the the Vault Tech Workshop, and we're going to attach this to this Vault Tech reactor, which generates 150 power. And then to make sure that it's on the same network as the bike, we attach the bike to the reactor as well. Now let's program it for the experiment. Go to power cycle experiment. And then these are the three different experiments you can choose. Additional power production. Um, you can read the R&D notes to learn exactly what it does. And in this case, you see that <laughs> it, <laughs> it administers electric shocks and it killed the last people. See autopsy. Uh, autopsy 130k. Um, so we don't want to do that. That's going to kill our, our settler. The next experiment is sustained usage incentive, and this actually injects your settler with buff out. It says that the last one who used this died of a heart attack. So we don't want to do that. So the final experiment is the environmental enhancer, and this is so silly. It basically just fills the room with lavender and sweet orange and absolutely nothing happens. So since we're not animals, we're going to accept that one as the experiment. And now that we've accepted an experiment, good old Clem is gonna come on down and board the bicycle. This is all there is to it? So I, I'll keep pedaling. This is kind of fun. Oh, what's that? You smell that? I never smelled such a thing. Is that new fruit? It makes them go to sleep. <laughs> Exercise sucks. All this pedaling. There's a point to it, right? I'm so bored. Hey. Oh man, I'm sorry. I broke your vault. I, I just got so excited and I wanted to do a good job and I kept pedaling faster and faster. And then the whole vault went kablooey. Please don't kick me out. If you choose that experiment, this is what the vault- I was looking at the data for the power cycle. If I am reading the report correctly, you chose a lavender and vanilla aroma dispenser. Let's check out the other options. So let's, uh, we already tried the environmental enhancer. Now let's try the, the additional power production, which causes shocks. And let's see what happens. Come on, Clint. This is all there is to it? Uh, ow! What? Uh, you, the, the cycle is, ow! Broken. I'll just keep pedaling. All I was time. looking at the data for the power cycle. Marvelous work. The power cycle intelligently forced our test subject to pedal to his limits. And now let's try the last one, sustained usage incentives. This is all there is to it? 
Whoa, that was... Wow. Oh, boy. I'm feeling really good. This cycle's the best! Whee! What the heck? I was looking at the data for the power cycle. The power output of the unit was, well, acceptable. For the next experiment, we'll need something from outside. All right, so that was power to the people. The next is the watering hole, and the overseer asks you to build this soda fountain prototype and uh, to power it up. Now, like with the other experiment, we can select the terminal to choose which experiment we want to run. All right, looks like we have appetite suppressant, mood enhancer, and generic caffeination. <laughs> that sounds probably the most harmless. Let's read the notes on that. And we find out that this experiment is just caffeine. I love this last line. I must admit, it's refreshing. God, I hate Ted. <laughs> Pretty good. All right, so let's try generic caffeination and see what happens. Come on, Clem. Not a bad job, manning the soda fountain. The soda fountain's open. Want to be the first customer? Depends. How much does it cost? Oh, it's free. Really? Well, I guess then. We're in a vault? Wow. <laughs> Mm, wow, that's good stuff. Make sure to come back. I'm going to laugh so hard if after all this, it explodes. <laughs> this soda's better than Nuka-Cola. Try it. You'll see. So damn hungry. Maybe I'll get another drink. All the soda you can drink. Huh, it didn't explode. All right. Hey. You here to check up? I got a customer right here. Want some more refreshment? Mmm, what the heck's in there? I had a Nuka Cola once. And this stuff. I know, right? It's got special chemicals in it. No shit. Well, whatever it is, call me a fan. Alright, looks like we chose the right one. Let's see what the overseer has to say. Caffeine. Well, it does improve productivity. But. Really? And together with the dubious success of the power cycle, I really am beginning to question your commitment to the project. <laughs> but you can still redeem yourself. Looks like she's not happy unless somebody dies. All right, let's try the other types of uh, soda experiments. All right, so the last one we tried was the generic caffeination. Let's try the appetite suppressant. All right, the R&D notes say... That there was one fatality and two complete paralyzations <laughs> due to this appetite suppressant. All right, let's try it out, see what happens. Pretty tasty. Weird aftertaste, but it's good. Make sure to come back. Didn't see you at dinner. I had a pee. One pee. I'm stuffed. Well, if you want another drink. Sure. Maybe that'll help. Looks like the appetite suppressant really does work if she just eats one pea. Let's see if that pleases the overseer. To think we've turned the simple soda fountain into something noble. Ah, it fills me with pride. All right, that last one. Let's check it out. We've got the mood enhancer. Let's see, what does this one say? All right, so it's a drug. It's a psychedelic drug that at least... At least it doesn't kill anybody, so there is that. Let's accept the parameters for that. And let's see what good old Clem can give us. Ugh, it tastes... <laughs> it All tastes the soda funny. you can drink. <laughs> Make sure to come back. You're back! Oh, yeah, this vault's amazing. <laughs> just great. Wow. Yeah, just great. It's so... Great, I don't even know what I'm saying. Neither do I. 
I think that's the most fun. Let's talk to the overseer and see what she has to say. To think we've turned the simple soda fountain into something noble. Uh, it fills me with pride. Well, it's clear Fine. that she's just pleased if we do the absolute worst moral decisions. So let's move on to the next experiment. All right, so the next one, Vision of the Future, has, has us make this faux raptor prototype. Let's see what options we have to program it. Looks like we have a choice between sub subliminal messages, vault monitoring, or improved eye care. Well, that's probably the, <laughs> the, the one that we want. So let's go with that one. Let's read the notes. <laughs> oh, I love Ted. Ted is so great. All right, so it just improves eyesight. Let's go ahead and accept those parameters. Looks like we have our first patient. Yes. Before we begin, Clem, uh, how do you feel about children? Uh, they're all right, I guess. You ever planning on having any? Uh, I don't know. Why are you asking? Just idle chatter. Go on. Hi, you here for an eye exam with the for... With this thing? I guess. Go ahead and get in. So, what do I do? Just stay still. So I just sit here. Yeah, yeah. The machine will do the rest. This thing's creeping me out. All done. It says you got, uh... A uh, minor eye infection. Some eye drops will clear it up. Uh, thanks. And that's it? Nothing else? No, Lady Overseer. Exam's all done. I never had an eye exam before. It wasn't so bad, I guess. Why are you doing this stuff, anyhow? These experimental devices could make life better. For everyone. Huh. No shit. I figured coming down here was too good to be true. But I might have misjudged you. Might tell my friends it's a good thing down here. Thanks. I guess. So one of our residents is happy. That's completely irrelevant. We should be making hard choices to improve the effectiveness of the vault. Instead, you spend your time pandering to their every whim. I'm improving people's lives. I'm not going to apologize for that. I just don't understand you. Please, make this next one count. <clears throat> All right, back to experiment two. Let's try the subliminal messages. Let's read the notes on these. So it looks like it's a brainwashing method that puts images in their minds trying to improve their perception of the vault and can lead to blindness. Okay. Well, that sounds fun. Let's try that. So, what do I do? Just stay still. It, it keeps flashing. I, uh, I think that's normal. What? Ah, what the? Ah, ow. Uh, this thing's not working. What were you doing? I kept saying obey the overseer. Mm. Well, that's just a quirk of the prototype. Nothing to concern yourself with. Bullshit. This ain't the end of it. Explain what the your hell legs is your for game? an hour. The you wouldn't like coming me in here fun. to experiment on us? You some sort of sicko? There's nothing sinister going on. You're just imagining things. Y you sure? I mean, that eye machine. All right. But I'm watching you. Hey there. So one of our residents is happy. That's completely irrelevant. We should be making hard choices to improve the effectiveness of the vault. Instead, you spend your time All right, I don't understand why she says them. the exact same thing. We we did we chose a completely different option and she said the exact same thing. All right, let's try that last one. Vault monitoring. 
Looks like it reads minds and produces images based on what they see. Creepy big brother looking stuff here. All right, let's try it out. So what do I do? Just stay still. Oh, my head feels hot. Oh, well, just stay still. Fuck, it hurts. Oh God, I feel sick. All right, sorry. I'm working on it. Were you nuking me? What the hell? You know how these experiments go. It's just a small irregularity. Nothing to concern yourself with. Bullshit. I ain't buying it over here. This ain't over. So strange having people about. What the hell is your game? You invite Clem and me in here to experiment on us? You some sort of sicko? There's nothing sinister going on. You're just imagining things. Y you sure? I mean, that eye machine. All right. But I'm watching you. So one of our residents is happy. That's completely irrelevant. We should be making hard choices to improve the effectiveness of the vault. Instead... Sounds like we've got the exact same dialogue options, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's move on to the next experiment. All right, now on to Lady Luck. The slot machine was in the special section, just like all the other devices. Uh, so let's see what options shift. we have. Start with the one that we know will be okay, Lost Revenue. Looks like there's no description for this one. I guess let's just try it and see what happens. You gotta try this, uh, this slot machine. It's the best. I just can't lose. Ha <laughs> I win again. Well, it looks like this one causes him to win over and over again. All right, let's see yes. what the overseer says. Let's check in with Clem. Oh, hi. That slot machine thing is a hoot. Thanks a lot for letting me try it, Lady Overseer. I'm so glad you're enjoying yourself. I'm happy with how the machine turned out. You do realize the lost revenue parameter loses revenue, right? <sighs> it's done. Finally. Hundreds of years of refining and planning. And it's an unmitigated disaster. Residents wasting time and valuable resources. But this place is the best, Lady Overseer. Everyone says so. You see, this, this is what you've done. Vault 88 was supposed to be magnificent. I cannot stand to be in this cheery purgatory you've concocted. Don't you see? All of your prototypes worked. The people's lives are better. Is that even English you're speaking? What you say is nonsense. I take my leave of this wreckage you call a vault. I hope you get what you deserve. Overseer. Sweet. Please, take care of the vault. Goodbye, Valerie. It's been real. <clears throat> you done with all your experiments? I hope I did good. They were real interesting. How are you doing, Clem? Doing just the best. People keep talking about how good things are here. And I hope I've done my part, you know? You really are a glass is half full kind of guy, aren't you? Who, me? Heck, I'd be happy just to have a glass. I guess you're the overseer now, right? Looking forward to giving the vault my best. All right, let's try out option two. Indentured servitude. No description. Let's accept the parameters and see what happens. All righty, Clem. Go do your idiot savant thing. I'll do well. Promise. Come on. It's got to pay out sometime. Looks like despite this thing actually winning, gonna turn around. his dialogue options are always tied to what you chose in the uh, terminal. See, he just won twice in a row, and he's complaining about never winning. What? Is this damn thing rigged? 
Let's check in with Clem. Oh, hi. Listen, I just need another try on that machine. My luck's about to turn around. I can feel it. Yes, Clem. You find some more money. That slot machine will pay out soon. <laughs> After all the experiments, what are your thoughts? It's done. Finally, the results were mixed. But in science, you rarely wind up exactly where you were expecting. With my life's work done, I think I will deliver our schematics to other vaults to improve their lives. Vault 88 needs you, and your guidance. We can't afford to lose our overseer. How touching. Sentiment shouldn't matter in this calculus, but somehow, it does. I will stay. And together, we will make Vault 88 a beacon of hope for the future. All right, so you get, you still get the legend of Vault 88 uh, uh, Vault Suit, but I didn't have an option to keep her as the overseer of this vault your experiments? when I chose I the I last option. They were real interesting. If so, can I hit the slots again? I just know my luck is going to turn around. It's got to. You should wise up, Clem. Oh, that's good advice. I'll work on that. All right, let's try the next option. Customer profiling. No description. Let's see what it does. It the thing's broke. It keeps making these weird clicking noises. Did the machine just say, degenerate? Are slot machines supposed to flash? Let's check in with Clem. Oh, hi. Is the slot machine supposed to flash? Every now and again, I swear it makes a strange noise and flashes. You must be imagining things. A slot machine doesn't take pictures of people. <laughs> After all the experiments, what are your thoughts? It's done. The results were mixed, but, but some... All right, looks like you get some of the same dialogue options regardless of the choices you make. So if you want the option to keep Overseer Barstow as the Overseer of the Vault, then you have to have... You have to choose at least one less than savorable option. Good. They were real interesting. Thanks for all your help. You kidding? It's been an honor to do, well, anything for you. I look forward to giving Vault 88 my best. So if you don't care about the Overseer, you can choose all of the sort of uh, morally better options, and then she'll leave, and you still get her Vault suit. Um, but if you want to keep her, you get you get her vault suit anyway. So there you go. Those are all of the different choices that you can make with all of the different experiments that came with the Vault Tech Workshop. Uh, I hope you like this video. Please let me know in the comments below if you have any thoughts. And stay tuned for more Vault Tech Workshop videos. I have a whole slew coming out for you. Thanks again for watching and be sure to subscribe.